EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to historic Baltimore, Maryland and M&T Bank Stadium. Well, tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Baltimore Ravens. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. On first and 10, it's Jackson. They set up the screen to Hill. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. An unfortunate time for the penalty there. That cancels out a positive play from this offense. Well, not to sound too trite or too accepting, but you and I both know it happens. You got to accept it and move on. Yardage, you got to get back. Focus on the next play and move on. And a solid job using his legs. 16 yards and a first down on the keeper. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. Two yards the gain on the keeper and it's second down. Throwing is Jackson. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. So the completion good for six yards. And now we've got a third and three. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Third and three. Here's Jackson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Down the left sideline. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Rashad Bateman, 59 yards. And the Ravens will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Here's Richie James on the return. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Mahomes throw taken in by Valdez Scantling. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Jadavian Clowney there on the stop. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here's second and ten. Here's Pacheco once again. That's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. First down for the Chiefs, solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them, 
and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. On first down, Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. 39 yards there, a big one. Well, that's something that this defense is not going to be able to allow if they're going to have success here. They've got to be able to wrap up and get guys on the ground. They end up letting him get away, and it turns into a big play here early on. I can just see veteran observers of the game shaking their heads and talking about the dearth of tackling. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Isaiah Pacheco taking it in from four yards out. And the Chiefs are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. And that is a great answer here offensively in this first quarter. You start the game flat, your defense gives up a quick touchdown, but you turn right around and take it down the field yourself quickly and finish with the touchdown run. This could be a game of offense. We've seen two sharp drives in the first few minutes. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Returning it, Justice Hill. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Justice Hill. And he will score. Touchdown, Ravens. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to seven. So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. Now James returning. Here's James. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Here's Mahomes to throw. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. So the completion results there in nine yards. And now it's third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, it's Pacheco. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. Fourth and short, partner. I mean, this would be a really risky call. Here we are in the first quarter. On They're your own side of the own field. Own side of the field. But, boy, what a tone setter that would be to go for it and get it, wouldn't it? You're gritty today. I like it. I'm feeling it. Fourth down, so Kansas City sends out Tommy Townsend. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. 
This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The Baltimore offense at the line, set to get going. They'll start by running the option to the right. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Play action. It's Jackson. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Nick Bolton. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And that's caught left side by the tight end, Gray. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down to about the 21 or 22. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Here's second and five now from the 22. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. That's complete to Tony. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Right back to Tony. He's got another one. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. Here's second and one now from the seven. As they've got it as we resume action. On second down, here's Mahomes. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Marquez Valdez-Scantling bringing in that one from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from drawing level. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point by Butker is on target, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They start from scratch here, so to speak. 14 all following the interception last time that led to a score. Now they've got it first and 10. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. From the 25, here's a second down and four. Off the option, here's Edwards. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as he's able to take this up to the 30-yard line. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. So first and 10 now from the 30. Jackson options out left, and he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. And that play stopped behind the line by a corner. Trent McDuffie getting in there. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, 
I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. On second down, it's Edwards. Three yards on the pickup there, but they've only got it back to third and ten. Now, right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, Jackson. Well, a tough throw there across his body. It's incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. Waiting on it will be Richie James. This is taken at the 23. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And the momentum just continuing to build and build for them. They had the touchdown, their last drive to tie the game. Now their defense does its job, and Charles, all of a sudden, they've got a chance to capture the lead here. And we're seeing a really nice exhibition of what coaches love to call complimentary football. Offense gets a tie, defense does its job, gets the ball right back, and their teammates now have momentum. What a nice job they're doing, all doing it together. Mahomes to throw on second down. That'll be caught. It's Tony. Down the right sideline. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Kadarius Tony, 71 yards. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays run after the catch and this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. The dangerous Hill now to return. And he will be brought out here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They'll look for a drive to tie this up. Down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field, and it took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. On the counter, it's Edwards. Five yards, now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Jackson to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Here's Jordan Stout now. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. 
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They have played so strongly. You look at the scoreboard, you, you probably, with the way they played, you would think the margin would be a lot bigger, right? You would. And in your experience, how many times have we run into coaches where they've talked about, hey, we just want to put it in the hands of our defense and have them win the game? In this case, yeah, not the case. Not at all. You want to put it in the hands of your offense, but you always feel better about seeing defense because you think defense is a constant and offense kind of comes and goes. Today, <laughs> this game, no, they need their offense to stay on a really hot level. They've been hot so far. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw complete there to Rice. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Well, following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. From the 44-yard line, here's second and three. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. Mahomes now on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Rice. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Open man right side is Tony. And now a fumble. The ball's out. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Now Jackson. That's caught. It's Flowers. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. And now here's a deep shot that's complete, and all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. And that one results in 35 yards. Quarterbacks have so many options when they have a four vertical route because they can hit any one of those four at any time, often for a big gain. But to me, the key is don't lock in on any one of them. It's best for him to look in one direction. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And this ball recovered by the offense, but remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. 
So this will be blown dead, and it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it, able to retain possession. That was big for them. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Jackson. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. And the Chiefs will take over here at their own 14-yard line. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Mahomes going to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. To throw, it's Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Mahomes now to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Throwing now is Mahomes. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. This is part of why this guy's got multiple MVPs on the mantle. We're used to seeing him make the impossible throws, but here Mahomes knows he's got nothing. So he wisely just gets rid of it. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. This time they stay on the ground. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. This is taken at the 18. 45 yards, that's what the punt goes for. Five on the return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well and most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Meanwhile, the Holmes throw caught by Tony. And yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. 
I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scambling. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. And that'll be caught by Tony. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Over the middle, complete. It's Rice. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 19. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Pacheco gets it up the gun. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. It's been a struggle this entire game trying to move the ball on the ground. But every now and then, you find a little chink in the armor, and that type of run right there lets them know that they can't stop every single run for almost no gain. Second down and six now. Now Mahomes. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. Mahomes to throw on third and one. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scantling bringing in that one from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally the haymaker to put that drive away. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. From the gun, Jackson. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. Well, that'll get them the first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. On first and ten, it's Jackson. He finds Bateman over the middle. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that could really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 48-yard line. Jackson, options out left. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Isaiah Likely. 28 yards and the Ravens have got it back to within a score so a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and gets them right back in this football game and I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying we have put our best foot forward in the first half but we certainly mean business now maybe a better term a prove it drive they proved it to themselves that they were ready to go Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. On first down, Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They suspected it. it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Now here's Mahomes. He'll get this one to Kelsey. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 43. A good pick up there, a 22. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four. That one caught by Rice. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six at its second down.
Mahomes on the give to Edward Delaire. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Sets him up nicely, first and goal. It was a pickup of 14. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Noah Gray. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Now that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air. So now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Beating him there with his legs, 21 yards, first down. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he collapsed down inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. Now Jackson on first down. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Here's Jackson. To the right side, into the hands of Flowers. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two. Here's Jackson. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. 
They'll run for it. It's Edwards. And this winds up a disaster. Nowhere near the marker. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Throwing is Mahomes on third. That is caught, and he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. On the handoff, it's Pacheco. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line, and I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Again, it's Pacheco. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Pacheco gets it and tries the left side. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need 10 yards out of it on third. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And that'll bring up fourth down. Now Harrison Butker for the field goal try. This to make it a three-score game late. Butker's kick here is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work, and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. 
Well, he got in and got it done. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace where the other offense are going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Jackson now on second and 10. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. To throw is Jackson. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. The Ravens send their punter out now. Standing just outside his own goal line. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From Baltimore, good night, everybody.